This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and this is Cannabis Chronicles, a 10,000-year odyssey. So tell me, Muse, of that plant of many resources, which wander far and wide, the ancient plant of food, fuel, fiber, cultivated for millennia. So as we venture through the past 10,000 years, we will explore and discover the plant from which cannabis derives. The many uses of the plant, hemp, cannabis, ashes, cannabis and religion, cannabis and medicine, cannabis and dear old Uncle Sam. And so our odyssey begins. Today, our odyssey is not long ago and far away. It is current and in progress. And therefore, we are visiting with two of my new best friends, <laughs> uh, Miles Tuttle. Correct. And D. D. Yes. D. <laughs> yes. They are on the forefront of the cannabis industry. They, we're going to talk about all these wonderful products, but they are the go to people for all of the vendors who are creating product as well as the dispensaries. You have to have something to hold your product in. You can't just say, oh good, I made these edibles, now what? So that's why we have invited these two people who not only know product, but they can assist you with the legalese of your product, how to go about this, what to do, what not to do. So they are of vital importance to the industry here in Hawaii. So welcome, welcome. Thank you, Thank you so much Thank for coming. Thank you, absolutely. So tell us all about Kush Bottles. Well, let's or see. Kush Bottles Hawaii. Kush Bottles Hawaii. First and foremost, we want to thank you for having us on the show, mm -hmm. and thank you for using your voice and platform to educate and inform people as we all learn together. Uh, my name is Miles Wesley Tuttle, and I'm the CEO of Kush Bottles Hawaii. Uh, this is my wife, Adilani, and she's mm -hmm. the general manager. And what we do is we sell and market uh, packaging products, solutions, accessories, etc., to those operating in the regulated medical cannabis industry. So, how did you get started in this? Uh, interesting story. Let's see. Uh, ten years ago, uh, I was injured at work, and uh, my doctor recommended that I go get uh, tried medical cannabis as an option, as opposed to any uh, harder opioid. The high drugs, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I found that it actually worked for me. Uh, I was in California at the time, in Los Angeles, and then I started working with different dispensaries. Like I went in and I talked to the owners, and uh, yeah, we just started providing solutions because at that time in Los Angeles, the, the rules were very vague and there wasn't very much regulation. Uh, people were getting raided at times by the DEA or robbed. Um, here, we're starting fresh. Right. So uh, we moved here probably 2010. Um, we moved back. We moved back. I'm from here. With a person like Lonnie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That she's, Exactly. Um, yeah, so we've been working with the Drug Policy Forum, uh, Department of Health, and uh, as they slowly build the, uh, the industry, uh, we're providing solutions. And that starts with uh, child-resistant packaging that is specific to this product. Uh, we sell, we uh, sell it to dispensaries as well as to patients um, because we feel that uh, children should be safe. The medicine should be safe one way or the other, or at least in safe uh, so packaging. if I'm a patient and go. I buy the product from the dispensary, Absolutely. does that come with the packaging or do I have to buy it separate from you? Oh no, it comes with the packaging. Mm -hmm. We're here okay. to support the, uh, the dispensaries themselves and the industry in a whole. So if I um, grow the plants at home, then I buy the packaging from you? From us directly. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I guess. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So. Yeah. So t tell us now, so you started with all of these people and you're on the ground floor mm -hmm. with all of the dispensaries yeah. and the laboratories and mm -hmm. what have you. Yeah. So how, what does that mean? Uh, let's see. The way I looked at it is um, 
everyone wants to either be the gardener or the chef, but uh, you, you can look at different opportunities within the regulations, within the laws. Because right now, uh, based on the number of licensees that are allowed to participate in the market, only certain people can be the gardener or the chef. But there are a lot of other opportunities, and that's where we found uh, packaging as a, as a viable option. Yeah. I would think so, because yeah. everybody needs it's, it. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, so then you work with the dispensaries to, to from the beginning. From the how, beginning. how does that work? How do you? So um, basically, in the beginning, you know, for a few months, I think the dispensaries are kind of trying different options out, packaging-wise. But once we work with them to kind of finalize what they like best, like in size-wise, and what what fits their product the best. Um, and type of packaging, then we pretty much will stock their preferences here for them so that when, you know, they call us and say, hey, you know, we're running low on this, then we'll be able to go and deliver to them. So, now these are... Go right ahead. Yes. yes. Oh, you got to squeeze so, these for children. Yeah. Got, oh, it's childproof. Yeah, it's squeeze the sides. Now make a nice pop. There oh. you go. <laughs> oh, once the children find that out. No, it's, they don't have, it's hand yeah. strength. Yeah, it's grip strength, actually. Yeah. 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 But once they can read, it says. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, but these are airtight, mm -hmm. yes. waterproof, mm -hmm. so that your product doesn't yeah. mildew yeah. Yeah. or. No. Right. Yeah. And that right. product is valuable. Yes. Right. Yeah. So that. Now, what about vials? Um, um, you mean, I guess, or like push and twist? Oh, oh these ones, okay. So, yeah. tinctures. Yeah. Tinctures, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, does this come in one of these? De no. De dependent on the, you mean, she means like packaging. Packaging. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you could put that in here if you wanted to, yeah. but you wouldn't really need to because this is um, child resistant. This it one's has child a resistant. Push and turn. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. And it is opaque as well. So all of these are opaque, and that's part of the so, regulations. Um, so this one, do the, do you put their do you print their labels or they print their labels? They print their they labels. They print them at this time. We, we yeah. are capable of of putting labels or even um, printing directly onto the bottles, mm -hmm. um, but that will probably be something in the future once. Yeah. The because uh, let's assume. Because most of the people that were at the expo, mm -hmm. uh, there were 60 different vendors selling Absolutely. CBD. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So if they buy from you, do you do the labels, or can you do the yes. labels? Yes, we can. Yes, we have our own graphic design team, mm -hmm. um, and they pretty much can customize, you know, all of our products. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So, so this is this is something like a, you know, a customized exit bag. So you can do this. What do this. you mean exit bag? So I know what she can try. Oh, you want to try this? This is this is a bag. <laughs> so the you kind of push. You so push, this is what the edibles could come in, or is it? Yeah. So pull this out that way. Push and slide. It. Push and slide. Yeah. Okay. You got the Show awesome. You. you got the awesome fingernails. On. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you just kind of slide it out, and then this comes out. So it's child child resistant there. Yeah. Um, so this is an exit bag. You know when. Um, the time comes that we, or that the dispensaries are able to have edibles. You know, maybe a patient comes in, wants an, an edible plus some flour. We can put it all in the bag and then zip it up and then they take out the bag with all of their stuff in there. Yeah. So, yeah. That's, and, and so you print those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can print yeah. those. Those those are print. I like this exit bag. Yeah. I like the yeah. ad, uh, exit bag. Yeah. Well, w w right now, what they're working out is uh, for edibles, uh, they're considering having transparent or see-through packaging so the patients can see what they're buying. And then the goal is to obviously put them into uh, another bag. Yeah. Because I was gonna say it, that. It, yeah. yeah. Where where these are transparent or opaque for children not to be able to see. I, I don't. Children aren't going to try and eat grass. They right. try and eat an, a brownie. A brownie. A brownie. Yeah. 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 So you got to have that opaque. So, and you don't want to be walking out of the dispensary yeah. and have somebody oh. on the street see what oh. you've got. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's that's yeah. a really yeah 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 I, that bothers me really. There's security. The dispensaries are very secure. They have security guards there, and they'll yeah. the parking is safe. So as long as you get to your car. Yeah. So, so they walk you to your car, or if you feel uncomfortable, I'm sure they would. Yeah, I'm sure they would. 
Yeah, they're, they're, we've worked with uh, all of the dispensaries on the island, also uh, some on Maui, and uh, they're very professional. Yeah. Especially compared to some other states, some of our other experiences. Um, tell me, speaking of other islands, the neighbor uh, islands, neighbor, yeah. about transporting. Okay, I look at your face and you, yeah. it's a, that's the same issue. Okay, how do we do that? For the packaging or for the medicine? For the medicine. How do you, you know, Kauai, Nihihau, mm -hmm. Lanai have mm -hmm. nothing. Mm -hmm. So uh, Lanai, all of those little mm -hmm. islands yeah. have nothing. So nope. how do they go to the closest dispensary? As of now, they have to probably either have a caregiver or grow on their own island in their backyard or something like that. I think it all comes down to the uh, inter-island transfer or right. getting on a plane or uh, going from island to island. Uh, my opinion on that is uh, through research, I've found that there was a case in 2005, which was uh, uh, Gonzalez versus Raish, where they had interstate commerce, where someone was going from one state to another to get a good deal on uh, medical cannabis. Because we're geographically isolated in the middle of the ocean, no one's going to come over here because <laughs> the travel is so expensive. Um, I feel that there's a, a, an individual, like, case-by-case -case situation where Hawaii should probably be allowed to at least do everything intrastate. Now, okay, some people have heard over the years say that the waters between the islands should be part of the state of Hawaii and not federal. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, if you're packaging right, yeah. And then who would know? Exactly. Yeah, I'm. I'm not one to take that type of risk. <laughs> no, but I, I, we, we, this is a this is a device, and it's for if you have a rolled uh, uh, can of a cigarette. Yep. It's uh, child resistant, and it goes right inside, so you hide the smell. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go uh, from on a plane. Personally, it's it's everyone. You know, your yeah. personal risk tolerance. Risk. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I just <laughs> I just think the state has to deal with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. <laughs> because it seems discriminatory that you have people all over yeah. the state. It is legal statewide. Yeah. yeah. And yet they don't have access. All you can do is fly to Oahu, but you can't take it back. Or yeah, supposed <laughs> to. Well, they're working on it. Every year they uh, make adjustments. Um, it's a work in progress, and they have like a fix-it bill. Uh, the one they're working on this year has to do with reciprocity, edibles, uh, vape carts, uh, employment discrimination, uh, uh, testing, like people who get drug tested uh, at work. Uh, you can't actually tell if someone is physically impaired at the time of cannabis, but it actually stays in your system. For a longer period, so if you were do to you really get impaired with cannabis? I, I, I know nothing. I, so I think it's I think it depends on the person. Yes, Each person reacts, reacts differently. differently. So yeah. um, some people don't really get as impaired, and yeah. some people really do. So it's hard to yeah. you know have anything said on that. Yeah. yeah, they're working on it in yeah. other states as well. Sometimes you know you have the breathalyzer for if you've been drinking, but uh, okay. they don't have anything specific. So, you said there's an, a meeting today. That's right. Tell us about that. All right, it's at 3 o'clock in room 229 at the, at the Capitol, Capitol, State Capitol. And it's, uh, it's the conference committee meeting on the bill two, HB 2729, which specifically deals with reciprocity, edibles, vape carts, uh, right now, and also uh, devices. Should mm -hmm. we show our device? Oh, uh, something like, oh, I'll put this out for a second. These little, uh, devices that are you can vaporize so it's a battery yeah for it's a vape cartridge mm -hmm. yeah a vape cartridge is pretty yeah. whatever that yeah. is yeah. it's yeah. really pretty yeah. yeah yeah so you kind of you know purchase stick a your cart. cartridge in it's there. an oil from uh -huh. the dispensaries and and it they fill it up they fill it, and right they, now, we're hoping that they do. Yeah. If the well, law passes, they yes. fill right it Right now, up. You, you, you would fill your own, but hopefully it passes yeah. and they would yeah. do it for yeah. you. Yeah. And That's really pretty. Up and well, coming. listen, we need to take a break. Okay. Oh, I'm ready when for we that. come back, let's 
see some more of what you all the goodies here. <laughs> okay. Okay. We'll this is Think Tech Hawaii raising public awareness. I just walked by and I said, "What's happening, guys?" They told me they were making music. Hello everyone, Ted Ralston here, a host of our Think Tech show, Where the Drone Leads, where we talk weekly at uh, Thursdays noon, by the way, on subjects related to the emer emerging technology and business of drones as they might apply here in Hawaii. Uh, issues involving commerce and education, legislation, uh, technology, public safety, all the things that you might want to hear about. Uh, we talk about them with uh, local experts and people from across the country. So join us at uh, noon on every Thursday and we'll have a new subject and we'll have uh, new faces to talk about this most interesting subject area. Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner and this is Cannabis Chronicles, a 10,000 year odyssey and today we are visiting with my new best friends. For everybody that knows, I only deal with my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Dee, mm -hmm. and this is Miles, Absolutely. and this is their product, their business is Kush Bottles Hawaii. Exactly. Very good. And they are the underpinnings of the cannabis, medical cannabis industry in Hawaii. If you're going to grow, develop, process, sell, you need to come see them to package all of your goodies. <laughs> Is absolutely. that right? Absolutely, absolutely. That's, that's right. Now, let's, speaking of packaging, all of the people that are creating CBD products, and like at the, the festival, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My goodness, I had yeah. never seen so many people s yeah. selling CBD. It's grown year after year, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So do they buy from you also? Um, they can, yeah. Uh, we have a, a couple people that do. Um, but yeah, they, they're more than welcome to. We, we sell to the, the local companies here as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if I want to create a product, then I and I say, well, I need to go to you. What are the rules? What, are the, what can I do? What can I not do? Mm -hmm. What is legal? What isn't legal? Mm -hmm. Can I come to you for that? Yeah, we yeah. offer, we offer a c compliance uh, 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 consulting. Uh, most of the restrictions and regulations as far as child resistancy apply only to the dispensary. So um, there are a lot of other uh, packaging companies out there, none that are actually here in Hawaii. Uh, so we usually just get phone calls with people who have either been working with uh, uh, companies on the mainland and they realize that we're here, we have all of the products on island and warehouse, and they just call us and say, hey, we'd like some of these. Do you have them? And hope either we do or we can get them. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah, yeah. So uh, where did, if you're going to do a CBD product, where does the CBD come from? <laughs> well, it either comes, I, I don't yeah. have it. I'm, I don't right. know. I mean, you either grow your own. Yeah, you grow your own. It, it, we'll open. I'll open with. I'm not a doctor or a scientist or a lawyer or anything. But and I haven't actually experimented with the uh, the actual manufacturing no, of CBD. Somebody they Some, buy it from someplace. They grow it themselves. I think. I think they grow it themselves and they're able to process it. Yeah, it's moving along that fast. The people here in Hawaii are capable of obviously growing it in their backyard and then processing it themselves and just calling us up and packaging it. Some people want actual like uh, the the labeling on it or some uh, branding or graphic design and they're they're building their brands here in Hawaii mm -hmm. um, getting ready for uh, tourism or anything else. Speaking of tourism, yes. let's go back to the reciprocity yeah. and tourism. Yeah. What does that mean? Oh, okay. Well, as of now, and uh, the rules are changing probably today or as we speak, uh, a doctor would be probably pre-approved uh, from another state, would have to be pre-approved, said that the uh, qualifying conditions match up 
to Hawaii's uh, oh, special nice. list. Um, and then they're allowed to uh, contact a patient or a patient can contact them and say, I'm looking to go to Hawaii on vacation for this amount of time. Um, and I'm, I normally use medical cannabis. I mean, I'm just not supposed to for the next uh, you know, week or right. two while I'm there. Um, and then they uh, submit their information to the Department of Health and they get approved and they get a card in the mail that they can print out and bring with them. And how long does that process take? Let's assume <laughs> that, mm -hmm. oh, hey, D, let's <laughs> go to Hawaii for the weekend. Yeah. Yeah. How long does the process take? Well, it hasn't even been set up yet. Oh, so that's part of what's happening today. Yes at the legislature yes yes and hopefully as fast as quickly as possible that's what we're hoping yeah because they i read that there are about eighteen thousand new applicants every month you know that yeah. right yeah. for the to get their card okay so well i know that there's about twenty thousand patients currently in hawaii um you, yeah. mean, you mean in other states? Or? No, Hawaii, okay. that, that yeah, apply, apply. Okay. that go to the web page yeah. and fill out the and application. And yeah. then they only allow a certain amount of them that actually pass, I assume. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you have to yeah. do that, pay your $38, yeah. then go see your doctor. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Then the doctor says, yes, you qualify for all of these. Yeah. Right certain things. I'm going to do my little plug here. Uh, I just recovered from uh, open heart surgery six months ago and my doctor, Dr. Paul Klink, <laughs> actually did all of this for me. So the day I got out of the hospital, um, I went straight to Dr. Klink and uh, him and his doctor and his team there set everything up for me and sent me my card in the mail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't have to do any of the online oh, anything. Good. So if you go to the doctors, they can... They know. Yeah, the doctors that, the that do this, they yeah, know the exactly what they're doing. Yeah. yeah. But I'm just thinking of the timing for yeah. the tourists yeah. Yeah. to go through all of that. I think mm -hmm. it's a relatively new new thing coming up, so I think yeah. it will eventually get there where there's a, a fast turnaround time, but yeah. it, it won't be quite yet. Yeah. It'll take some time. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got to be at least the same amount of time that the local patients have to wait. Like, it would be unfair for a visiting patient to get their card like that. And sometimes the local patients have well, to wait a little ways. Would if you have a card yeah. already from another state from, from another here. state yeah. and you're just you're here yeah. on vacation can i use my card no. from another state no. no you gotta clear it through the department of health pay your fee oh my. and then uh and then they'll send it to you in the mail you're pre-approved prior to arrival so then you just show up and you have your special 329 v visitor yeah. card and then you just you can go to the dispensaries and they'll look it up on the and that, database. And that's in process. It in hasn't process. even, it yeah. hasn't started yet. Yeah. <laughs> so now we, the, the, this event is today. Yeah. And yeah. you are going. I'm going to, I'm, I'm an observer and an absorber of information and knowledge and it's very entertaining okay. to me. Okay. So. so you will come back. Yes. And, and tell us exactly what happened, what happened okay. and where we are in yeah. the process. Hopefully everything goes exactly as planned. <laughs> This is the Hawaii State Legislature. Well, I, it might. I, I'm really <laughs> impressed with how much got through this year. Like uh, there were a lot, yeah. there was a lot of um, people butting heads, but um, the fact that edibles are available for uh, people who probably can't. Uh, use well, if you have a child that's yeah. has yeah 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 yeah, yeah. You, you and even for medicine at all. Uh, uh, Carl Brinkwist from the Drug Policy Forum yeah. he mentioned that uh, cherry flavored Nyquil. Like yes, it's cherry flavored so that the the child will, to, yes. will taste it, will enjoy it, mm -hmm. or actually eat it. So yeah. there are children who need medical cannabis and so edibles. Also, oh. patients coming from other states that only use edibles. If we don't have edibles here, then they're... Because a lot of people don't want to smoke. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. And, and we've done this on every show to talk about if you live in a condominium, smoking is an issue. Yeah. Smoking anything, anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. is an issue. Yeah. So there has to be another way. Now, tell me with a tincture. Is that a tincture? Tincture, mm -hmm. yeah. Tincture. Okay. Now, do you? How do you ingest this? Do you or or do you? What? There's there's different ways. So you can actually physically put it in your mouth, like maybe a under couple drops tongue. under your tongue. Like for a child, a lot of times they do it that way. With a child. Uh -huh. um, you can also <clears throat> do it um, in your food. 
so you can use Sometimes it they have a cooking certain oils. amount yeah. yep, in your food, make your food yeah. that way. And then um, also you can do it topically. Yeah, topically. So, you know, you just drop some on to a specific area and rub it in kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. Yeah. yeah, that was my concern about children because, you know, all the nationwide, they all people talk about how well the child has done mm -hmm. with this right. and all of the issues the children mm -hmm. with epilepsy okay. and all of the other and wh how good it has been for them. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So I was just concerned about how you ingest yeah. this. Yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty simple. So if you have a cut or sore or a, something on the skin you can Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably more for like um, muscle. muscle aches or something like that. I mean, yeah. I'm not a doctor right. either, so I'm not really yeah. sure actually. But um, I don't know about open cuts or anything like yeah. that. So. We used it on my back when I was having some problems after my surgery. Yeah, um, yeah it worked. I mean, that along with medical cannabis was uh, much preferred for me personally than all of the prescription drugs. The heavy drugs, drugs oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I had, I had no problem stopping uh, using those although many people do. I had never gone to the hospital before, so it was a new experience for me. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and Dr. Klink helped me out, and the, the, the availability and access of medical cannabis um, has been very helpful. Oh, great, that yeah. is wonderful. And he has been a jewel with us yeah. and, and on the show, oh. and a lot of background information, and even though he was sick, Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. volunteered to go to Houston for the floods to oh, help out okay. the Red Cross. So we yeah. interviewed him oh. on Skype okay. from Houston. Oh. So even yeah. though he was sick, he yeah. volunteered to go. So he, yes, he's been with us right. uh, an awful lot. And like I said, he <laughs> took me to you and said, we have to meet you. Excellent. We had yeah. to talk to you. Absolutely. <laughs> Great. So you are nationwide. Yeah. And then what each state or island or whatever mm -hmm. you own, so it's your company. Yeah, we're a local company and we're the exclusive distributors of Kush yeah. Bottles products. Yes. Yeah. So you're a, what do you call it, an independent contractor? Or distributor. Distributor. Exclusive yeah. distributor. Yeah. Yeah. Exclusive distributor yeah. of a nationwide mm -hmm. product. Right. Yeah. They only, right now, I think they only have two uh, exclusive distribution deals, or maybe three, Puerto Rico, Hawaii, and Alaska. Well, and that it, makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then for the rest of the uh, U.S., they have either territorial sales managers uh, that are actually working within the company, but we're our own independent company. Well, that, that makes sense yeah. on those yeah. Yeah. those faraway places. Right, right, what right. did the president say about that island in the middle of I the... I heard about that. I heard about that. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't know we <laughs> didn't know we were part of the uh -oh. United States. Yeah. <laughs> well, listen again. Thank you so much for coming. And after this, we will call. We will make an appointment okay. for you to come back okay. and tell us what happens at the meeting. Okay, I'm sure everything will work smoothly. Okay. Thank you again. <laughs> thank thank you. you so thank you. much for, for being here. And we look forward to seeing you again. Right. Aloha. Aloha.